This is what gets people the help that they need when they want it. Tonight, a man from Oceanside is on a mission to help save lives as the fentanyl crisis just keeps getting worse. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. Deaths from fentanyl overdoses have increased nearly tenfold here in San Diego County since 2018. Tonight, CBS 8's Shannon Handy is in Oceanside getting a first-hand look at how one man is trying to help. Nearly every single day, you'll find Nate Smitty somewhere in San Diego County passing out life-saving supplies. Five days a week, sometimes it's multiple times a day. Today, we follow him to Oceanside where he set up a table at a homeless outreach event. On it, CPR face shields, fentanyl test strips, and Narcan, a drug used to revive someone following an overdose. You stick the tip in the nose, you press the plunger. While there, we watch as people took what they wanted, no questions asked. Say I'm doing like cocaine or meth or something like that, and I want to see if Fetty's in there. Yeah, take one. Yeah, take it. They know that I don't judge them. I'm just here for them. Like, I just take them as they are. That builds a relationship and a bond, and they trust me. And then whenever they get to that spot, they come to me or whoever it may be when they're ready to take that next step. Nate, who goes by Narcan Nate on Instagram, is passionate about what he does, often advocating for treatment instead of punitive measures. We have decades of data showing that these sites work. As a former user and drug dealer himself, he says he understands the importance of meeting people where they're at, telling me he's not enabling them, he's helping save their lives. This is what gets people the help that they need when they want it. And it also saves us money in our approach with dealing with public health. Nate does this type of work through a local nonprofit called A New Path, a county's chief distributor of naloxone and Narcan. Their goal is to not only prevent deaths, but also educate the public on the dangers of fentanyl and other opioids. They've got their work cut out for them. From July of last year through June 2023, Customs and Border Patrol agents have confiscated 7,755 pounds of fentanyl along the San Diego-Mexico border, nearly 1,000 more pounds than the previous fiscal year. Accidental deaths from fentanyl are also on the rise, going from 86 in 2018 to 802 in 2021 in San Diego County alone. For Nate, those numbers are personal, as many of his closest friends have died from an overdose. It's why he feels this type of work is so important, saying while it won't combat the fentanyl crisis overnight, it's a start. This, it's a part of the solution, but it's not the silver bullet. Policy is what's going to change what's going on. If you'd like to learn more about a new path or where they'll be next, just log on to our website, cbs8.com, and click on this story. From Oceanside, I'm Shannon Handy for CBS 8.